Hey, so I'm here on the beach in Barcelona. Just beautiful. I'm living my dream life now. But about 10 years ago, I was in the worst spot of my life, having massive suicidal thoughts, had really bad mental health. And today I'm going to talk about how I turned that around within a matter of 10 days, doing a detox, looking after my gut health, and how and why that changed my life as well. Let's go on a journey. We're going to go down there. I'm going to skate down that way. Beautiful spot here. You'll see some sceneries. Hear my story about transforming my life through detoxing gut health. And let's have a nice skate, baby. It's a great day. It's a great day. I got this epic skateboard here. It's a surf skate. It has such nice turns on it. Feels like a surfboard almost. Almost. No cigar. But this is Barcelona in April and just absolutely stunning. Just had to pick up some shades though, you know, bit of sunshine out here so get some shades going. I was in Boston, I had a soccer scholarship at Boston College and it was my senior year. I was nearly there playing soccer for the university team. It was going great. Hang on, let me adjust these. And just suddenly had a lot of really bad anxiety, intrusive thoughts. And I was struggling, really, really struggling. I thought, what if I'm going insane? What if I'm going crazy? I don't want to tell anybody because what if they just lock me away? And I didn't know what was going on. I was looking up on the internet what was happening while I was having all of these intrusive, unwanted thoughts. And I couldn't really find any answers and so I reached out for help and I think that's such an important thing to do is take the weight off yourself and it was so good to let my friends know some of my key friends not everybody um, my family what was going on and then I got more support from there and you know I remember playing soccer trying to play soccer and before I was decent but then with this bad mental health I had the ball at some point and I'd just kick it to the other team because I was so on my head with so much anxiety and I wasn't even there present in the game. I started seeking help, going to different places of who could help me with my mental health and I kept trying but nothing was really solving the issue and really making a big difference. These suicidal thoughts just kept coming. I kept hope that there was going to be something that was going to change it. And I just had to get through day after day. And sometimes that can be so hard, just getting through the day. Until finally, I got to a naturopath who deals with things more holistically. And she said that you need to fix your gut health. You need to take this detox and fix your gut health. And then your mental health is going to improve. And I'm thinking, what? Like, how is my gut down here impacting things up here? It was like, what's the connection between that? But I was willing to give it a go, willing to give it a try, because what's the worst that could happen? She said, okay, you need to cut out gluten, dairy, and alcohol, and do this detox. You need to heal the gut lining, because the gut lining is like the skin around a sausage. It's that thin. You need to heal that because there's holes in that gut lining, leaky gut, and that's getting into the bloodstream and affecting your mental wellness. And I'm thinking, all right, well, I don't know how that's going to like change things, but I'll give it a crack. And so I started to eat these new foods and I started to do this detox. And the detox is this herbal detox, Brett Elliott 10 day herbal detox with things like dandelion licorice to clear the colon, clear the liver. And it was tough to do because, you know, I was changing my diet and I liked the foods that I was eating, but I was committed to the process of doing it. And it was incredible what happened. Absolutely life-changing. This detox and fixing my gut health changed my life completely. Within that 10 days, I went from feeling anxious, suicidal thoughts, 
feeling super down to feeling good, feeling good about myself. I could move past these thoughts and it just absolutely changed the game for me. Now, why did this work? Why was my gut health bad? And why did this detox work to help fix my mental health? Well, I was living in the States and the food there and in other parts of the world as well is notoriously bad. It's ultra processed. There's so many people eating highly ultra processed foods. And that's foods that are so far from the corn that we bring up, that we grow, or the sweet potato, or potatoes that are in the ground. They're just super highly processed. And if they are normal foods that are grown from the earth, then they've got so much pesticides, herbicides on them that are protecting those fruits and vegetables from insects, but are also harming us as well. They're in full on protective equipment that they can't even breathe this stuff in. But then we're eating that stuff. These foods that are in packages with ingredients that we don't understand, like Red 40 and all of these different ingredients, if you just look on the back of a packet, and the rule of thumb is if you don't understand that ingredient, then your body isn't going to either. And so my gut was so jacked up from eating all of these foods. It's like we don't give a lion fucking Doritos or we don't give a cow Coca-Cola, you know? There's foods that those animals eat that are from nature that they thrive on. And we're the same as that, human beings, we're from nature. We've lived on this planet for hundreds of thousands of years, but the marketing companies for those big crappy food products are just pushing this junk down our throats. McDonald's, all these fast food companies that are just making crap food. My gut health wasn't good. And also, I'd harmed my mental health by taking marijuana, which wasn't good for me as well. It can be good for some people, but then for others, it's better not to take it. And I'd had massive bad trips. This detox of all of these herbs worked to clean me out. It's like a broom, psyllium husk, which is one of the ingredients that they liken it to a broom that sweeps the floors of your apartment, it sweeps things out, and it sweeps the shit out of the intestines to help you leave you clear so you haven't got all that junk in you or that junk food. That's why they call it junk food, but it ends up sitting in our bodies. You know, we wouldn't give a Ferrari some shitty fuel. We'd want to fuel that bad boy with the best fuel that we had so it would run the best. And so it's like taking our car to go get a service. You know, we make sure the oil's good, the engine's good, the carburetor, and the other stuff that goes on with the car. I should have actually learned more because my dad was a mechanical engineer. And so we clean things out. We start to clean out the junk, and that's what I, that was what was happening for me. I was clearing out that junk. I stopped eating the foods that were causing the problem, and then I started to clear out the gut. And we know that the gut is so important because it contains over eighty percent of our serotonin. 80% of our serotonin and they actually gave me serotonin pills to help improve my OCD. But we can get that from foods and we can get that by improving our gut health, by stopping eating the shit that's causing that to be low, by clearing it up, clearing out the junk. You know, just like we take our car in to get a service, we clear that out, feeding it with the good stuff, feeding that. So I was on probiotics, I was on glutamine to help seal up my gut lining again. And I was also on some stuff to clear out the candida, clear out the fungi. And it's not a fungi, I'll tell you that. It's uh, not the best. We've got Monjuic over there, beautiful mountain, W Hotel, and Barcelona Beach, just running down there. Up that way is France, down the line, beautiful beaches up there. Costa Brava, lots of people love that place. I've never heard a bad thing about Costa Brava. Beautiful. Ocean out here, just majestical. Hey. Get in the sunshine, feeling the rays, getting that fresh air. Fuck yeah, boy. Love you guys. And some of the realizations for me was that I have more control 
than I thought. I thought, man, I'm just going to be fucked for life. That my mental health is just going to be jacked up. But actually, I have way more control than I think by being able to improve my mental health by fixing my gut health. And it was an amazing insight. And it's gone on. I've gone on to try other things as well, like doing the Wim Hof method, doing the breathing, doing the ice baths to help improve my overall mental health and reduce my stress rate levels, reduce the anxiety that I feel. And so I've been open to think, okay, what are the other ways that I can improve my mental wellness by improving my overall wellness? Is to know for life now, okay, wellness, gut health, the foods I put in my body, stress levels, is something that can massively affect my overall mental health. And that's something I have to be aware of and I have to put in place throughout the day, throughout the week to help feed myself with good food, not eat as much of the shitty food, and really take care of myself and put in a structure and strategy in place to look after my wellness. So I hope this video has helped. Hey, I'm just sharing this from my heart. I hope whatever spot you're in, you can improve your mental wellness. And yeah, we're all on a spectrum from zero to fucking 10, you know, with our mental health. And let's keep improving it together. If you can hit the like button, if you found some value in this, subscribe. That would be radical. Much love, and I'll see you next week.